Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Pixel Piracy Let's Play. Apologize for my absence yesterday, um, as you might be able to tell by my voice, I've been pretty sick lately. I mentioned this in the uh, Battle Brothers episode on Tuesday, but I was losing my voice and uh, I did lose it for about a day. So I wasn't able to record, but uh, I'm feeling better now, my voice is back, so should be business as usual from here on. Um, I'm thinking... We'll probably do like one more episode of Pixel Piracy and then move on to something else. Um, unless you guys really want to see more, of course, uh, if you do, just let me know in the comments below or by liking the video. And uh, if there's enough demand for it, I will, of course, continue. But otherwise, I think we'll leave it at about five episodes. So, um, I guess let's just get back to business then. Um, let's check out the world map. And uh, we're here. Let's start heading west. We'll go this way. <clears throat> so, we are keeping our eyes open for anything like a cannon that we can uh, drop into these slots here. I do not know if such a thing exists, but we are hopefully going to find one. Also, I would like to build like a mast or something. Oh, apparently we're at an island. Oh! We can buy stuff. Hmm. Well, I've got a lot of money. Maybe we should look at weapons. Let's go ahead and come aboard. <clears throat> uh, come by come aboard, I mean uh, head to land. Why isn't he going? Oh, he's hungry. Uh, let's go to the ship. Do I have any food here? Got rum and sea biscuits. Here, have some watermelon, pal. Have some rum while you're at it. Okay, then we can uh, replace that right now while we're here. So Captain, head to the weapon shop. We'll see if we can improve our gear at all. And then we'll uh, buy some more food while we're here since we are in pretty desperate need of some. So the best weapon I'm seeing is this double axe for 12... Or sorry, not for 12. For um, 788, I believe, and there's an attack of 12. Let's see, DPS wise. Which character is it? Um, assuming this for, I imagine the captain since he's the one interacting. My current DPS is over 5, so this is the only thing that would be an improvement. And it's not a significant one, so I don't think I'd want to spend that much. To be honest, none of these are really all that great. Um, let's see, we've got a bunch of stuff that we don't need. We should probably get rid of it. That's pretty good though. Let's get rid of like the knife. Anything that's like attack five or less maybe. Uh, you know what? I don't need this many clubs either. Rock. Uh, no, we'll get rid of all these. Get rid of that. We'll get rid of the knife. Apparently these rocks do a lot of damage. I never would have thought. But given the bug that we were running into, I don't really want to mess with them. <clears throat> Um, if you didn't watch the last episode, they were causing our captain to get kind of like stuck in ranged combat and he wouldn't move. And so I decided to just get rid of any ranged weapons. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. But uh, it looks like we're pretty well equipped actually. Um, I do want to take a look at our crew, make sure everybody's got the best weapon. So actually his DPS is even higher than that. So yeah, we definitely don't want to get rid of that weapon. Um, yours is at 4.28 and I think we saw that there's like maybe one weapon that's better for him actually oh yeah so the scimitar is slightly better for him however this uh, has a 15% chance to stun and it does pretty good knockback where this one doesn't so we decided to stick with the hammer there because the damage trade-off is not that bad for the additional effects that the hammer gives um, Clarence Goldfinger's got this short sword for 5.71. I imagine that's going to be far and away the best that we can do. Yeah. And then uh, Benjamin Kleinman has a rapier. And uh, again, being over 5, I don't think we'll be able to improve on that. Nope. So let's level him up while we're in here. And let's see, anybody else? Ah, Clarence. Clarence, Clarence, Clarence. Let's give you... Uh, 
uh, some agility and some luck. And then we'll get back to here. Let's go grab some food. And then I think we'll get back on the ship and try to find some more pirates to fight. So what do we want? Fish, fruits, we should probably buy some fruits. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'll buy some more rum. Maybe a thing of meat, some citrus, and some sea biscuits, and some fish. That should be more than enough food. And then we'll head on back. Let's get back to the ship. He's he's happy. He just ate a bunch of watermelon. These guys haven't eaten, so they're not too pleased. But they'll go eat right now. Should be plenty of uh, watermelon and rum for him. Yeah, go eat. There you go. Yeah, get drunk while you're at it. I, I would eat first. You don't want to be drinking that stuff on an empty stomach. But uh, now that they're on the ship, let's get moving. Looks like we're sort of landlocked here. We want to be moving out this way, maybe. Got to find some more boats to uh, raid. Got to keep adding to our ship. I was saying something before about building a mast. Like, I don't know if you can do it out of these blocks necessarily, but I think it might be cool to like, build some masks off of this. But then, I don't think they'd be able to walk through it is the issue, so... Maybe I'd have to do it with these blocks. I don't know if it would let me. But if I built it out of the whole blocks, it would be like a barrier. So that's not a great idea. Uh, I'll probably look at some um, ship designs between episodes. And... In the last episode, we'll see like how ridiculous a ship we can build, maybe. But something like that, I think, would be fun. I just, I can't think of any block that would let me like put them in here and here for like a double mast. And, oh, hostile encounter. We'll engage them. Uh oh. How many do we got? Ooh, can you run from these battles? Interact, attack, move, carry. There's no button to like flee. I don't want to fight six guys. We're not going to win that. I think if we just go here and... It's danger three. Hmm. Let's go here. Oh, I can't. Huh. So I have to fight them? Is that how this works? That seems kind of stupid. Um, attack, and interact, yeah, it's not going to let me do anything. Hmm. I don't see any other way around it then. We're, we're going to have to attack them, we're going to lose, and then it'll just make us reload, and we'll have to do it all over again. That's pretty stupid. I don't like that we can't just, like, bail out. It's not going to let me, yeah, it's not going to let me leave. Well... We'll fight him and see how we do, but I know we're going to lose, and it's just going to make me reload, so I, I don't get why it does that. By the way, uh, I was looking on the Steam store page for this game, and apparently the devs have abandoned it, which really sucks. Um, so don't be expecting any like updates or anything, as far as I can tell. It seems like uh, they've completely given up on it, and a lot of people are still I think we're about to lose somebody. He's gonna go down and stuck it here unless he can unlock them with that hammer. Nope, there he goes. But actually, we're looking like we're gonna win. We did win. That's actually really surprising. Unfortunately, we lost Tanner. But, uh, I mean, he can't be replaced. Let's see, bust that urn open. Put that one too, I guess. And then, um, should we steal this thing? I think we can capture it and make it our ship. Kind of tempted to. It's a lot bigger and beefier than ours, that's for sure. Uh, let's capture it. Yeah, look at that ship. Okay. I wish it would leave yours, like, sitting, so that you could um, plunder your ship and get some parts from it at least. But, okay, so we've got this big beast of a ship now. Um, we're going to need some more crew to run it, though. So let's jump to the world map here, and then um, I think we want to go to, well, wherever the nearest town is, let's head this way. I assume there's one closer than uh, Benjamin, but we might very well have to head all the way over there. 
What I will need to do is put a captain's chair in here. Because, uh, we're not gaining any XP from them just sitting here like we were before. Well, we, we are, we're just not gaining it nearly as fast. Which is kind of lame. So, what's here? An island? Uh, it's like Lenny Kravitz's brother. And a couple other randoms. And a campfire. Hmm. I think we could take that many. Yeah, may as well. Let's go for it. If we had, if it was four on four, I'd feel pretty confident as it stands now. I think we should be able to do this without too much trouble. I just, I'm concerned we might lose somebody because they don't fight very intelligently. You gotta really, really keep them on like one or two guys to so focus fire because they like to spread their hits around and so everybody on the enemy side will be at like half strength. And you guys, yes, these are already, we're already not doing this. Unfortunately, these are not The captain's fine. The captain hasn't been hit by anybody. But, um. Well, this isn't going so great, is it? Can somebody get the guy who's like basically dead? We haven't gotten a single kill yet. Uh, he doesn't want to die. He would like to join our crew. Um, neither of these responses make sense in that context. I'm going to say that one. Okay. Like, you did that before? It looks like he, it looks like he, yeah, he did join us. Is there a captain going to die? Oh no, captain's going to die. Captain died. So that makes uh, Benjamin the lone survivor. May as well go collect three treasures there. Unfortunately, uh, we just lost a bunch of stuff. It didn't really work out for us at all, did it? What's this campfire all about? Can I pick it up? Run away with it? Uh, it doesn't seem like the campfire actually does anything. At least it's not like the the tribal things where you all, all of a sudden get slaughtered by a bunch of like zealots. Okay, so we got this guy now. At least that sort of supplements all the dudes that we lost. Unfortunately, you know, the captain went down. So we gotta replace him. Well, he is replaced. We just need to get some better people to crew our ship. Okay, so I guess we'll just head to... Uh, Shakespeare then, because that's pretty close. And we'll hire, I think probably five in total, so another three. This guy's got a mean unibrow. Like, look at that. Just like one pixel all the way across. Captain's at least cleaning up his own poo. I guess he's still on poo duty. He was on poo duty before. Now he's like the captain that has to clean up his own... I mean, when you're the captain of a big ship and you only have one crewmate, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so... Tavern, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, we got, like, sad grandpa here. Um, who else have we got? We got this real little guy with a hammer. That's some pretty crazy hair. Uh, he's just angry looking. Um, we got, like... After a grandma. A lot of like really, really tiny characters. It's kind of funny. Why aren't you coming over here? I clicked on this. I was like waiting, assuming it was just taking them a while. <laughs> you were just standing there. I think we gotta get Afro Grandma, like for sure. Um, I'm not sure who else. Maybe Jackson with the hammer there. We'll place uh, the hammer. Come on, all the way over. You can do it. There it is. Okay, so Jackson's only 50. We'll grab him. Um, Gina Stockwell. He? Well, it's a she, first of all. They were mage? Hell yeah. Um, who else? Honestly, I don't really know who to do, so. Um, let's see. Carrie Allison? Hmm. 
Benjamin Lowe is the dude with the cool hair. I didn't even see him on here. There he is. 110, sure. And maybe one more. Carrie Allison was a berserker, then hell yeah. Okay, there's our crew. Let's make sure everybody's leveled up. Oh, we actually have six. Oh well. So Benjamin Kleinman, the new captain, leveled up like what, six times over? I don't not necessarily six levels, but he's got six points to spend. So let's keep that vitality going so he stays alive. Some strength would be a good idea. And then maybe some dexterity. And probably some agility. I mean, they're pirates. They don't need to be all that bright. You're good. You guys are starting out bottom of the barrel. Benjamin Lowe is actually not too bad. Gina Stockwell. How are their weapons, by the way? You've got a cutlass. 2.6. That's pretty rough. Can I do better than that? Looks like 3.5. Well, that scimitar is a pretty good jump. 5.0. I'm going to give her the scimitar. That's pretty close to what she was using. Uh, Kleinman here has got a rapier that's going to do 6.01. I'm going to give him the old captain's sword because that's going to be a little bit better. Yeah, it's just one level higher. Roland Hefner, you got a short sword and throwing daggers. Fine, if you want to use them, you better not get like stuck though. 4.0. Got a lot of weapons that could potentially be better than that. I might give. No, I don't want to give him the hammer. Hmm. I guess I'll give him that. Jackson's got a hammer. Only 2.6 though. I'll give him this one. So he's still got a hammer, he's just got a significantly better one now. And then Carrie Allison has also got one of these. Do I have anything better? Hmm. Kind of. I've got a few things that are close. I'm just going to leave her on that. That should be fine. So back to the world map. Oh wait, never mind. We gotta fix this ship first. But we got a full crew again. So that's cool. And this big awesome ship. So I guess we'll just keep raiding. We'll uh, we'll see how like Afro Grandma and uh, what does he look like? I can't place it. I don't know. These guys are like so tiny though. Let's look at that. They look like like you're hiring infant crewmen or something, or like toddlers to captain your boat or run your boat. And this guy, I just don't know what to make of him. Like, I don't know. He looks like Bert from Sesame Street. If Bert was a little bit slow. All right, here we go. Um, where were we before? I want to get some revenge. Let's head out this way. We're going to find some pirates to, to beat up to take our aggression out on. Uh, I should probably throw some food down too. It won't let me do that though. I, I really don't like that you have to be like at a town to feed your guys basically. Uh, we've got the food, I just have to drop it somewhere on the deck, but it won't let me do that unless it's docked. I don't know if an island counts. An island might count. Are we even moving? We better be moving. We're not moving. What the hell? Did I not click leave? There we go. Good thing I didn't <laughs> wait too long. We were just like sitting here thinking we're moving along and really we're just sitting at the island. Because it's just like conveniently off screen. Like looking at the ship and like sure enough there's just land right here. Okay. So, where the hell are we now? Another island with a tribal hook and some wild animals. Well, we're not going to mess with the tribal hook. We know better than that. But we will mess with some animals and loot this treasure chest. Got to get these guys leveled up a bit. So we'll fight some crabs and some wild dogs. Captain's getting in there. Come on, somebody, somebody fight the dog. Where are you going, dude? Come back right here. Okay. 
captain. Go deal with that. As soon as these guys finish with the dog, I'm going to send them after these oysters. Because they will get XP from that. I don't think we want to fight this, though. If we do, we're going to get, like, way, way back here. Uh, let's see. Captain, go ahead and interact. What do we get? Uh, Carrie Allison's weapon leveled up. That's cool. I didn't see what else we needed, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if we have enough to defeat these guys. They could be way too strong for us, too. Like, they, they definitely have pretty good numbers. And I, I'm not entirely sure how strong they are. So what I might do is set everybody over here. We'll go activate it and then run like hell. But I, if I remember right, last time they spawned on, like, either side of this. So he might very well get stuck. Like, he could totally be screwed here. Okay, run, run, run. Oh, yep, yeah, sure enough. Go, get in there. Uh, actually, they're not too bad. No, they're really not that bad at all. Can we loot those giant axes? What happens if we interact with them now? Apparently nothing. We just destroy everything on this island and leave. Okay. Well, let's head back and uh, we'll see if it lets me equip those. That would be so awesome if I could use an axe that big. I'm going to say probably not. But one can dream. One can dream. Alright, so, crew. What does he want? I don't know, it was showing something. Weapon. Yeah, no. Unfortunately not. That was weird though, when I clicked on crew it was showing something. Is he hungry? Is that what that means? I don't know. Right, so... Let's keep moving. We got some pirates here. This will be pretty easy for us. This will be an easy one just to get us some more uh, ship pieces. But uh, I don't know how or where to find the legendary encounters, but that might be something fun to do in the last episode. Uh, if anybody knows where to find them, you know, let me know in the comments and maybe we can do that. I'm, I'm sure that we're not ready for it, but it, it could be a fun suicide mission to end this with. If not, maybe we'll just, um, we'll find the strongest pirates that we can. Let's do that. So away we go. I always forget to, um, if you really want to be effective in combat, gather everybody right here first and then send them. So that they all attack at once, because they, they kind of spread themselves through the game. So it's just kind of tell them to go from there. I'm honestly surprised that you don't see them surrendering more often. Let's get a small elixir and some gold. And then an urn over there. Okay. Uh, somebody got a small bra. Interesting. Let's head back and then we will uh, plunder the ship. We don't need that little thing now that we've got this big, like, dreadnought type ship with, like, what, one, two, three levels, basically. Plunder so that thing. Got some pieces and some gold, that's what we like to see. And I think we're actually out of time for the day, so I'm going to break it off here in the next episode. Um, we'll continue raiding some pirate ships and having some fun. And again, if you guys know where we can find a legendary encounter, I'd love to do that. Otherwise, we'll just hunt down the biggest, baddest, pi biggest, baddest pirates we can find. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some pixel piracy with you, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.